Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where uh, it's a couple of months later. It's now uh, November 1956, a couple of months after the previous episode. We have taken Northern India, which is pretty cool. Um, so the army have actually done something amazing. Uh, the invasion of Cyprus is progressing. The invasion of Eastern Australia should finish next turn. And I'm going to start invading the Andaman Islands. There we go. Andaman Islands, go. Um, just cycling things out. I'm not doing all the convoys and ambushes and little battles here and there because we've seen a lot of that. I, if it's an interesting battle, I will do it. Um, but mostly it is map painting at the moment and trying to get ships back in action. The blockade of Britain continues. Their economy is really going down the toilet. <laughs> really going downhill. Um, we might be able to make them like implode. Um, which might seem counterproductive. But uh, it will make all of those territories in Africa that we're having real trouble with um, ungoverned. And then we should be able to take a lot of them. Um, we should get a lot of conquests and, and attacks. And then we can go and blow up the Soviet Union, whose economy is also going down into the toilet. Um, so we might be able to eliminate two potentially very irritating enemies from the game completely. Um, it doesn't look like anyone else is moving against us, so that's all good. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty pretty happy with how things are going. At the moment, so I'm going to end the turn, continue invading, and I'll let you know when there's something to talk about. Well, maybe our efforts are finally starting to tell home. I didn't actually check Britain's uh, logistics, but Sudan has been taken, which is excellent. Um, uh, and we have taken Eastern Australia. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, the logistics has really dropped off because we've sunk so much of their heavy ships. Why can't I launch another naval invasion? I would have thought I could. Oh, it's because the Andaman Islands one has just started. We also have a port strike. Mm, no, I don't. I don't like the palace. I don't like trying to take on the palace with a with a twelve inch cruiser. But uh, yes, this is very interesting because if the army is starting to make some progress, we have a lot of uh, a lot of potentially interesting attack vectors against the British here. Might be able to take Pakistan. Might be able to take Bhutan and the northeast frontier. Yes, very good. Here we go. We're starting to snowball a bit. The Central African Republic has been taken. Very nice. More territory, more resources that we can uh, that we can put into our war machine. This is going to be the same fight again. Uh, this is again not interesting, but we can now order the invasion of Tasmania, and that will finish up the um, British Pacific holdings. That is the last outpost of the British, well, basically east of India. And that is extremely nice. How's this one going? 100%? 100%. I'm not sure what to do here, actually. I might take southern Turkey or try to. It's a pretty big province to try and take at 193 um, it might be worth a look, though, to try and take it, that because that locks the British out of the Mediterranean. Not quite, because they still have northern Turkey, but effectively does. And then these fleets can move down through the Red Sea and start attacking this stuff down here. I think it's worth a tr at least one one uh, one attempt anyway 
Here we go. We've taken the Gold Coast. Very nice. And now we move on to Tasmania. Good, good, good. Um, yes. All right. How's that one looking? Yeah, 100%. 100%. 100%, that's what we like to see. And yeah, Britain is... Ooh. It's not going down, like, fast. But uh, yeah, they are they are really struggling now. Really, really struggling. Oh, dearie me. There we go. The Andaman Islands falls. And so does Cyprus. Okay, so I'm going to move uh, the fleet here, like so. Um, and you lot are going to see, yeah, you're going to see if you can take Salon. That should finish, well, that, actually that's got a while to go. Um, can I, yeah, let's launch the Southern Turkish operation first, because that one should take longer, um, and then we can, uh, launch the invasion of Salon after, and they should line up okay. All right, we have taken Chad, <laughs> because of course we have, um, and yeah, invasions and things still going on. Are these ships ready? Because we've got more Akuma class uh, ships available. Uh, I mean, in theory, they can start invading somewhere else. I oh, know they're still commissioning. Uh, but they're probably going to be needed. Uh, that's a Mizuho. Not powerful enough to take on a battleship. But uh, invasion's continuing. How's Britain's economy doing? Still suffering. They have been rebuilding, though. They've got quite a few capital ships. But uh, unless they're going to engage my capital ships, uh, there's not too much. I'm interested in we're going to start um building up for our allies now we've pretty what are you doing all the way over in petra Pavlovsk? um pretty much got things working the way i want i might do a big old round of refits um once the war ends just get everything up to say in 1960 do a big big round of refits Just to get everything kind of up to date. Actually, what I should do is build a bunch of destroyers because we're going to need port protection. Uh, so let's get a bunch, bunch of them. Say another thirty. There we go. Just because the game will distribute them around, and it should generally prefer ports where there isn't anything. Um, but other than that, it's just keep on invading the empire continues to expand south east south west africa um is gone botswana apparently uh it's gonna get taken tasmania falls ah perfect right the fleet's here then well the the main fleet i think we can send the reserve fleet home they're gonna try and take blank bangladesh uh, these guys who are very old ships. We can uh, send them home where they belong. Uh, let's send them, yeah, back to Yokosuka. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> yeah, well, we're gonna assemble ships over here. I think Are the Akumas done. Yes. Leave the, leave the heavy cruiser. 
arrive and attack Bangladesh in force. We are actually moving on Eastern India. It's going up. Number go up. Number go up all over the place. Oh, I like that. Right, yeah, naval invasion there. Two months. And here, three. All right. Nigeria has fallen. Uh, we're really uh, getting... No, I'm not taking Ireland. <laughs> Funny though that is. Uh, no. Um, yep, Nigeria falls. And that is looking pretty bad for the British in Africa. They're probably only going to have Gambia left because I can't... I'm going to have to invade Gambia myself. Um, but they've lost most of their East African holdings. And uh, we're starting to move on their West African stuff. Or we will be in a minute. And uh, yeah, India under threat. Not great. Their economy's still holding up. Which is actually bad for them. <laughs> They'd probably be better off if they collapsed. <laughs> oh, we've taken Southern Turkey. Um, that is good. Looks like the British are starting to have problems with um, rebellions and things. But this, well, these two fleets can, in fact, we might be able to do a double invasion here. If I uh, set it up correctly, I should be able to take these British provinces on the Red Sea. We've taken Southern Sudan. Uh, so it's if we take Yemen and British Somaliland and then we can actually split the fleets. One can go this way, one can go this way. The problem I'm running into now is I can only launch naval invasions so quickly. Right, Bangladesh, go for it. I've got a, a lot of ships here. And they're big, very big ships. Uh, yes, well, Tas well, that is looking super solid. Really, then, it's really only the United States, isn't it, that is going to be a, an interesting challenge. But uh, we shall continue to dismantle the British Empire. There we go. Ceylon has fallen. Uh, stop telling me to invade Ireland. Um, we have other things to do. <laughs> we are busy. Ask me that some other time. Right. Let's go take the Maldives. Uh, what is this at? 98%. That's probably going to fail. But <laughs> let's see if we can get um, Somaliland on the... Oh, no, I'm going to have to wait till next turn. Blast. Um, oh, this is Soviets. Okay. Let's have a go at the Soviets, sure. It'd be good to get some victory points against them. Um, I guess now that we've taken southern Turkey, they are uh, trying to do something. But, the, yeah, I guess we are popping into the Black Sea for a bit of uh, mischief. And we have some help from... The Greeks. Lovely. A lot of destroyers, which we should be able to take out relatively easily. Yep. Wait, torpedo hit. Oh, they're firing torpedoes into each other. Okay, hilarious. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That's very helpful. Firing when you're going straight on. It's quite hard to hit with torps. Oh, 
not firing at the uh, already damaged destroyer. With the torpedoes. Cruel. If they hit, obviously, which they do, but it does. Ah, oh, Greece. You've not been storing your torpedoes properly, apparently. Right, can you finish them off, please? Thank you. And then get to work on those transports. Well, we continue to take out their destroyers. And they don't have torps loaded. Down they go. Come on, the transports. Please. Oh, that's a Romanian ship. Yep, there goes uh, the last transport. Get some flooding going. There we go. Got him. The Zante. Pretty fast. 39 knots. Can definitely... Uh, Escape if it wishes to. Uh, maybe not so much anymore. It's taking a flooding hit. I need you to slow them up just enough that the cruiser can get in range. Or you could just take them out yourself. That works too. Uh, pop in smoke. Just keep hitting the same compartments over and over. That six inch guns just about in range. Should manage to finish them off. Gerardo. Showing she's still got the goods.
and the Zanti, or the Zant. Don't know how that would be pronounced in Russian. Anyway, she is sunk. Ah, very good. Very good. Well, that puts a uh, put some score on the board. How many victory points did we get for that? Ah, uh, six thousand. Not not bad. Not bad at all. Well, seriously, see, like the Soviets have had enough. That is hilarious. No, I don't want any anything. That that's just basically a white piece. I'm like, oh yeah, uh, Japan. They're actually quite scary, aren't they? Yes. Yes, we are. Right. No. Yes. Hey, Pakistan! Nice. That is a very nice province to grab. Uh, right. Let's invade British Somaliland. And then we can get Yemen on the go. I also want to get the Maldives on the go. Ah, uh, so many invasions. So many invasions that I want to do. Ah. <sighs> All right, we have taken Uganda as well, which is fantastic. And yeah, more offensives getting lined up. We should now be able to invite, invade uh, Yemen. And they, sh yeah, those circles should overlap. So we should be able to uh, progress those just fine. This has dropped significantly. I don't know why. It's probably because, oh yeah, there is a fleet right there. Um, what's it got in it? Can I... Can I force and engage? Yeah? Because I'd really like to get rid of them. Let's, uh, let's see if that works. I'm going to end the turn live. Um, I don't know how they managed to sneak those ships in for a start. They definitely weren't in Bangladesh when I started the invasion. It's kind of annoying that the AI is able to put any ships in an invasion circle without it generating a fight. Um, although it is possible that I missed it, I would, I do, I have been checking the battles even if I have been skipping them. Uh, so we might have to repeat the invasion of Bangladesh, which is kind of annoying. Because um, yeah, any ships in the vicinity are gonna gonna ruin it. Uh, right, do that strike mission. Yep. Uh, yeah, sure, you can have one of them. And it's not this convoy battle. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like, I probably have to wait for this to time out or fail. Although it's gone up again. 91%. Uh, it also means I should be able to start hitting the Maldives no, next turn. Right, let's go live turn end again. Um, yeah, so this fleet, once they've wrapped up Bangladesh, I don't think we'll be able to take East India at all. Uh, so I guess they can help take um, the Middle East and start working their way down Africa. I think we're going to have to rely on the army to take Eastern India. I don't think I can take it. Namely, Madras is just too big of a a port to be able to uh, to be able to attack it. Let's have a look. Boom. Nope. Togo land falls. Bangladesh has fallen. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and the Soviet Union have taken northern Norway. How charming for them. Uh, that is not the battle I expected. Look, there's a fleet right there. Three battleships. I really want to kill them. Fine. Um, let's, just, uh, let's send you up to take Bahrain um, and you guys can head over to the Trucial States and we can start on the Maldives and yeah it looks like uh, 
Invasions, invasions, invasions. Uh, although, it doesn't... I thought we were getting a, an attack this way, but apparently not. Uh, if I need to, I can, of course, just summon all the fleets and try and take Eastern India that way, uh, which might be worth doing. Um, but we'll see how it goes. All right, we have taken Liberia, which is uh, very good. And Yemen which is also good because uh, then this fleet up to Oman and uh, yeah we might have to uh, blob up and uh, try and take East India Let, let's uh, deal with this finish up all of this uh, stuff First, and then we will uh, try and do that. Yeah, it's, it's just like cruises and stuff. Um, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't remember selling Belgium an on tacky class. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll take that action. <laughs> it's a shame it... Uh, doesn't have a proper name, but sure. <laughs> Look at that. Lovely stuff, right. Uh, you're on follow, save, avoid off. Please, thanks. Firing at the battle cruiser, right? Mm, no, your accuracy is terrible anyway. Just, just to make sure you, that's what we're firing at. No, it wasn't. Poor initial target selection. Long range gunnery again, very good. Now let's uh, cut in because I do really want to sink those transports. We've got secondary guns for a reason. I might be going for my light cruiser here. Yep, they are. Kindly leave her alone. belt pen. That's more like it. Oh, shit. Torpedoes. A lot of them. Full stop. Because there's a nice little concentrated bunch of them there. It's going to hit me right smack on the nose. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, getting some hits in. for some reason. No IDs yet. Okay, the light cruiser is starting to work over the transports. And here's Lord Clyde. Oh, it has terrible armor. Okay. Might as well re purpose the six inch guns on it. I wait for the X turret to swing around. There we go. Main belt pen. Lovely. Yes. Lovely shot. Again, a main belt pen. Well, Clyde, still afloat here. Oh, she doesn't look like she's in danger of sinking. Stuck out a gun on her, though. B turret. She's still ignoring us. Which, um... I mean, is a tactic you can make. Taking a lot of damage, though. It's the engine room. She's flooding. Obsessed with my light cruiser. I think the Lord Clyde is going to flood out here. Oh, yeah, it definitely is now. Oh, more torpedoes. Missed. Good, good. Right. Hokazi, though, can now actually just get nice and close to those uh, transports and take them out now that she doesn't have to worry about the big guns trying to get her and the light like, cruiser over here well <laughs> get wrecked <laughs> amazing Done for. How are the transports doing? Poorly. Yep. 
Well, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> that was a good. That was a good fight. That was a good battle. I like that one. Right, uh, back to the map. Here we go. Uh, we've taken British Somaliland. That should allow uh, troops to attack Italian Somaliland fairly easily. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this fleet to sit off Madras and start trying to just knock down the uh, the port a bit uh, while I, you know, start cleaning up the uh, Middle Eastern holdings of the British Empire. And then we will concentrate force to try and take Eastern India. We do have a lot of ships congregating over here. All right, uh, the warrior has shown up again, but this time she is, uh, well, trying to prevent the 14-inch fleet from conducting a port strike. So we might be able to uh, get rid of her. Another good cope class sent to the bottom is good as far as I'm concerned. And at this time we outnumber them because there's only one of them. So yeah, those 10 inch guns, 10 and a half inch, are very irritating. But we have more. Of course, we are almost certainly going to be firing at the wrong target here. I want all ships to eliminate the warrior. She will be hitting us pretty much immediately. Yeah, she gets her first hit. But so do we. Demolish it. main belt hits. Look at that. No matter how good your ship is to take that many hits. It's going to cause problems. Right. Uh, battle cruisers, can you take out that one? Battleships, that one. Thank you. And if there were any torpedoes to dodge, it doesn't matter. Because they're gone. Most damage done by the Tosa. Very nice. And look at that. The light cruiser are actually the most accurate. I was expecting it to be the the warrior down here, but no. Well, sucks to be you, Terpsichore. <laughs> oh dear. It's just not fair. At all. In any way. <laughs> so unbelievably harsh. No. Like, probably not even going to issue a single order. Amazed that they're coming towards us. No, no they're not. No, but... Uh, Seeing those splashes, I would probably turn tail and run. Eh. 
There we go. Who did that? Marasura. And it sinks. Thanks to a 20 inch hit from Akuma. Yeah, like I said, that was never going to go particularly well. <laughs> eh. How? Fine. Right. Given that you are... Oh, they sent a single... Uh, they, sent a, they, they sent a fleet. Okay, well, you can go over here and start trying to generate port strikes on Madras. Um, I'm going to have to wait another turn, right, before I can launch... Anymore? Yep. Uh, I don't think any of these are going to be... Well... No, it's a Mizuho. Nope. And again, no, don't want to do any of those. Right. Uh, let's end the turn. All right. Uh, it appears the Resolution and the St. Vincent, along with the Comus, are uh, trying to, uh, again, prevent... An invasion here or something maybe they just failed to escape it is narrower waters up in uh, the Persian Gulf of course much harder to avoid an enemy fleet but uh, yeah it seems to like the Middle East really is getting Britain's um, blood up which is interesting A lot of battle cruisers in this fleet. Come on. There we go. But, uh, Generally enormous fleet. Against two relatively small battleships, at least compared to the Akumas they are. One of them already taking big, big hits. Oh, I like that. This must be the X-Men. That's an actual Nelson design. Look at that. It also seems to be... Uh, Getting taken down rather fast. One more shell will probably do her in. Yep. Shame, because that was a cool layout. At least. Inch guns just making a mess. The other battleship here. Oh, wow, I really want to kill that cruiser. <laughs> she goes. Uh, she did fire some torpedoes, that's why. Uh, okay, they're not going to do a huge amount of damage. 
It's fine. Come 20 inch shells. Hit. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I like the Exmouth class. It's not very expensive though. I suspect it had very little armor. Uh, and the Vengeance class, well, I've spoken about that before. Not my favorite. There we go. Um, we have taken well a few few places there. Uh, North East Frontier and uh, Botswana somewhere. Pursuta land, wasn't it? Oh no, it's a uh, Bihuhan land. Anyway, we've taken somewhere. Um, right, Trucial States next, I think. Yeah. Should be able to wrap. See, look at that. T percent chance has gone down because there's, um, there's a battleship sitting there. Anyway, any that fail, I'm just going to move the ships over to Eastern India. How's the army getting on? Not not great, to be honest. Alright. Last battle for today, I think. Um, the British, the Exmouth, the Conqueror, and the Prince Consort, plus a whole bunch of light cruisers have run into this fleet. And, I can never believe this, I alter result. I shouldn't... If anyone said in the comments earlier, why did you also resolve all those big battleships against a single light cruiser? That was stupid. Yeah, well, I did that off camera, and it totally damaged a bunch of my ships. Like, more ships than it could possibly ever have done by itself, even if it landed every torpedo. Um, never use auto-resolve. You always regret it. Stupid. Auto-resolve is terrible. Anyway, uh, I have, even though in the mod, I have tried to make it better. It's just... And this is not a criticism of Dreadnoughts. This is just a criticism of auto-resolve in every game ever where it has ever appeared. Every Total War game ever, it is terrible. Uh, it is always terrible. It's an auto-resolve. Always. <gasps> Ow. Yeah, I do like these these Nelson-esque ships. Oh, something goes down. Uh, yeah, I'd like you to concentrate on killing the battleships, please. Work on the other stuff later. They really don't have enough armor. Right, one down. You guys can go after the battle cruiser. That should eliminate all of the big guns from the fight. Main gun. Oh, we accidentally sunk ship over there. You guys firing at the wrong things. You're firing at the right thing. You are not. Eliminate big ship 
traps first. And play with the little ones later. The other two turned. Oh, there we go. That'll do. The battle crews are looking worse. The shells fall short. Battleships down. Battle cruisers down too. Free. What the hell happened to you? Not much. Oh, were you just damaged from the start? From that stupid auto-resolve? Quite possible. Right. Small ship abuse. Begin. course slightly unpredictable for them. Inch guns opening up as well. There we go. These are the expensive light cruisers. This is going to be a very costly battle for the British. Oh, I should have a look at the Conqueror here before she uh, goes under the waves. Ah, uh, good pain belt, but uh, the rest of the ship somewhat lacking. Look at that light 16 inch shells, it totally is an Elson. Very interesting. And the Prince Consort here. Uh, nah. Not, not my favourite ship ever. Cruisers. Are they ex expensive? Well, they're not cheap.
charging them down now at this point. their best but oh no this is one of the really expensive ones I think they're all out of torpedoes aren't they oh Sapphire's not actually I mean she's now she just got exploded but those eight inch guns on the Akamas proving pretty useful here actually Oh, Andromeda, no, what happened to your turret? Exploded off. And with that, that British fleet is gone. Suspect, yeah, a lot of victory points there. 100, nearly 120,000. A whole bunch of light cruisers that I no longer have to hunt across the seven seas. Um, Musashi, damage leader, followed by Yamato. Very nice. Uh, most accurate? Again, the British are accurate. <laughs> they're able to hit. Look at that. 63% from the Canada. That's insanely good, although she didn't actually fire that much. Um, but you know, the Conqueror here um, was definitely hitting her shots. Uh, 36 hits she got. Just uh, not not really doing the business. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.